shifts like butter now. Oh, butter. Oh, butter. So today I'm going to do this quick video I didn't upload last week, so we're going to do this one real quick. This is a 1983 or 84. I don't remember. What year are you? 81. 1981. I wasn't even close. This is a 1981 Free Spirit. This was a bike produced by, I believe, Sears. Uh, they made them from like the early 70s for a while. Uh, this is actually my mother's bike. So this bike is here uh, for just a quick tune-up. I took... Um, she wanted wider tires, to be honest. She doesn't like these 1.38s. I told her we could put some 1.75s on there, which is going to be as big as she's going to be able to go, but we'd have to take the fenders off. She didn't like that idea, so she wanted this taken off, which was just the basket that was right there. She kicks it when she gets off, so she took, we did that. And I know she didn't say this, but I noticed when I was test riding it that it wasn't shifting. Uh, this is a three-speed, no no handbrakes, just a you pull back like like when like you're a kid, you know, a bike like that type of brake system, and it just has three speeds up here. Let me show you real quick how you fix it. it it's a simple fix that anybody can do. You just need tools. Actually, you, you don't really even need tools. Do you mind? The way it works is you pedal. You have your shifter on the handle here with three speeds, and then that shifts an internal gear, which is in there, which is amazing to me that, I mean, they've been doing this forever. But this one I noticed you have low speed and then second or high. And then you, yeah, you go into the three and nothing happens on the bike. You go down, that's when second to two, no change. From two to one, it gets easier, there's a change. All you have to do to, ch to fix these is look right there, that little end inside the shifter. So this is your actual shifter. If you take this apart, there's a rod inside this. This is almost like a quick release. It's hollow, a hollow shaft inside, and then this is what changes gears. So if you notice there, the end is in that, and I am in first gear. The correct way to change it is to first put this into second gear, then come back to your shifter, you see the end is off. This is where you adjust. First, loosen the tension nut back to get some space. Hopefully we won't have to move that much, but you never know. And then you twist this, tightening it, and watch the end. You want the end smack dab in the middle. About like that. And then tighten your tension back up that keeps it from moving you can finger tighten that that's that's fine if you have a wrench that size I guess you could change it all right so pop it in first you have an easy gear there was a shift and there was a shift three speeds so that's a three not not even the, the, if everything is good over here that's like a it takes more time to hang it on the rack than it does a fix it it's like a two minute fix Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. If you have any questions on other things we could try to fix on bikes, let me know. I've got some restoration projects to go, including a, I don't know, there's a couple projects around here. Look for another video every Friday. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, yeah, links down below for all the gear that I use. All right, have a great week. I'll see you next time. Try to start in the high gear. Oh yeah. It's just like butter now. Oh, butter. Oh, butter.